Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Mark Askin with the Association for Competitive Technology. Um, at the height of the WISIS debate over the future of ICANN and went on to replace it, a colleague of mine wrote an op-ed in the Financial Times. In it, in it he wrote, this effort is being driven under the guise of internet governance, but it is really about internet control. The past few days, for me, have only reinforced that concept. Just look at who is calling for these kinds of changes today. I mean, we all, every single one, one of them has, shall we say, a flexible idea about free speech. We all know China's story, but Brazil isn't really much better. Not only have they been caught uh, essentially uh, censoring political journalists, but they've even censored the documentaries that were appearing on British, or on, uh, British and Brazilian TV about that censorship. And then Silvio Berlusconi isn't even here, but he's now calling for internet governance uh, in an uh, internet national forum. And, you know, as we probably all know, he's uh, either bought up or uh, sued every journalist ever tried to, uh, to criticize him. So I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. Every time somebody says something specifically about somebody else, that somebody else feels quite fairly that they have to respond. And all we do is we understand your opinion and we understand their opinion, probably both of which we know already. So I would appreciate it if we could be perhaps a little less specific about individuals and territories and just talk about principles. Sure. I mean, in, in terms of principles, I think that uh, we need to be very careful before going forward into these discussions about tearing down this bottom-up multi-stakeholder body, which is ICANN, and replacing it with a top-down government-led body where governments that uh, have a penchant for uh, essentially censoring free speech have a bigger say in the way that the internet is run.